Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Today is September 8th in the U.S. Uh, it's funny how in honor of Queen Elizabeth's death, if you don't know who she is, she was queen of the United Kingdom, England, Great Britain, whatever you want to call it, and uh, had a bunch of videos in her honor uh, <laughs> from the Wizard of Oz, where uh, everybody was dancing around, celebrating, singing, ding dong, the witch is dead. You know, she's funny, she uh, claimed to be a granddaughter, great, 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 great granddaughter of Muhammad. Probably, if you really looked into it, they were probably somewhere down the line, actually probably related to King David, possibly. But I'm sure they corrupted their seed line by marrying marriage into a certain banking family. Uh, who are very Roth and have a child, a uh, polluted seed line. You know, it's funny. Um, my guess is probably 10% or less pro of Christians, churchgoers, whatever, uh, probably actually believe in the polluted bloodline of the Canaanites. Uh, the great majority you know, and it's not a new doctrine. Martin Luther knew about them. So, I mean, there's a lot of them in history. The further back you go, the closer to the truth you seem to get. As long as you stay away from the Vatican. But, uh, you know, there was times when uh, the Church of Rome was a good godly church. So, now that the Wicked Witch is dead. I wonder, is that idiot son of hers, Charles, um, going to be king? Or are they going to bypass him? I don't know. I remember a few years ago, I don't remember when, but uh, there was a naked male that uh, was crawled out of a window on a ledge, I think at Buckingham Palace. I'm not sure, but it was the uh, royal uh, building under the control of the royalty. He was up on the second or third floor, if I remember correctly, and looked like he had, was trying to escape. And people had videoed this on their video cameras. You know, everybody's got a video. Everybody's got a smartphone with a video camera, uh, with a you know camera with a video capability and picture capability, and they're recording this. And this guy's on the ledge trying to get away it looked like of course the police came and uh took him somewhere i wonder if he was one of their um uh, x ex slaves you know put it put a s in front of that x you know I, I doubt if it was one of the queens but maybe one of the i don't know you know that whole family is uh you, you just wonder i don't know how the a lot of many of the british people love the crown i just don't get it but as an american we uh we got fed up with the crown of course um i think it was king edward expelled the you know who's from england and then uh king james gave us the bible in the common language and then his son Charles was uh, deposed by Cromwell Oliver Cromwell perhaps you've heard of him and he let the you know who's return to England I think 50 60 70 years later they created the Bank of England a few years ago I read an article where England was still paying off war bonds from Get this. Drum roll, please. World War One, which at the time was uh, 
when those war bonds were still being paid interest on was about 100 years ago. You know, I think what, World War One ended, what, 1917 or something like that? Can you imagine that? They're paying, the government is paying interest to the banks on war bonds from over 100 years ago. Yeah, makes you wonder, huh? But uh, the naked guy, craw you know, uh, out the window, I mean, he's two or three stories up, and uh, he's on the ledge, and obviously trying to escape something, uh, you know, and then police took him into some kind of custody, and then you never heard anything about that story again. Absolutely nothing. Makes you wonder, you know. But uh, as an American, we uh, we got fed up with uh, taxes from the, uh, you know, paying the uh, the banks their little thing from the, you know, the UK. And uh, we decided to uh, go our own way. And uh, it worked out for a little while, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we're back in the same boat. You know, a lot of people don't know it, but... Uh, English government was involved in the American Civil War. Matter of fact, uh, Benjamin Judah was the vice president of the Confederate States. Yeah, he was a, a, a one of the you-know-whos. And he was told everybody that England had promised their support to the South to... Um, uh, allow them to break away and it was never about slavery it was always about state rights but um, they provided some financing and what have you and um, every time there's a war you you got the you know who's involved in both sides but um, some of us believe that the reason they encouraged the Civil War was so that the United States north and south would fight and kill each other and then when they were weak and almost destroyed um they could come back and just take us back over i mean let's face it uh there was another war in 1812 where the uh brits our uh, british navy and army burned the capital of the u.s washington um thing is uh, when this happened, when they, after the uh, Civil War ended and the British were uh, jockeying for position, the Tsar of Russia sent his fleet from Russia with uh, a lot of troops, army troops on those ships, to the harbor in New York City, and I think it was San Francisco. And people were wondering, what in the world is the Russian Navy doing docked in New York City and uh, San Francisco? Well, people in the know know that the Tsar had, was trying to protect America and basically told the British, hey, <laughs> you want to you take over the U.S., you're going to have to go through the Russian Navy and the Russian Army. And uh, guess what? That's why um, communism, which was very, uh, let's just say the you-know-whos were involved in communism from the very beginning, and they even admit it. I mean, it's not even a secret. But um, in 1917, they killed the Tsar's entire family, even after they had abdicated or stepped down from the throne. The royal family of Russia stepped down from the throne, and yet they were murdered anyways. Yeah, payback, payback, people. Um, they never forget. They are children of the devil, just like Jesus said in John eight forty four. And he wasn't calling them names, and he wasn't joking around. Um, he he read a couple sentences later, and he says he was telling the truth. So, yeah, but. Um, yeah, it's really a uh, sad situation. 
But I'm convinced that King Charles, who was deposed, uh, the son of King James, who was deposed by Oliver Cromwell, who allowed the you-know-whos back into the country, um, Cromwell killed King Charles, but I'm sure Charles was not King James spiritually, because if he was, the Lord would have protected him. I, I That's my opinion. So he probably was not a good godly person, and God al allowed Charles to be executed and deposed and executed. Yeah. You know, let's face it, um, when England was threatened by Catholic Spain when they went uh, so-called Protestant and Spain sent their fleet, which Spain and England are not that far apart, but uh, Spain sent their fleet to England and they were met with a storm which... Uh, did a lot of damage and a lot of their ships sank and the troops and everything else and that was the end of the Spanish invasion attempt by Spain by you know the Pope wanted uh, this to happen to bring Spain back into the fold but uh, God had other plans matter of fact England minted a coin it said God blew and the Spanish were spat, uh, scattered yeah so but uh, I wonder what happened to that that guy on the ledge you know it makes you wonder he was probably gotten rid of I would have loved to have been a reporter and interview him and just hear what he said you know it might not have been Buckingham Palace I'm not sure but it had something to do with the royalty. Um, the building was controlled by royalty. Perhaps somebody can explain on, uh, elaborate and explain on this in the comments. All I know is um, the Wicked Witch is dead. And uh, I'm sure the Lord has given her her reward that sh she so richly deserves. You know, so um, I'm going to do, I plan on doing a Bible study on the beast, the Antichrist, the man of sin, the son of perdition. There's, a, when you have a, the Bible records that the beast is going to have a kingdom. Well, every king that has a kingdom has laws. I mean, Christ is a king and he has laws. He's got the two commandments, love the Lord, love thy neighbor, well, and the Ten Commandments. Everybody's familiar with that. But every kingdom has a government, a king, you know, with laws, uh, an economic system, you know, currency, and a military. And that is basically the three aspects of any uh, government and kingdom and the Bible records that the beast system is going to have uh, you know who, who's going to make war with the beast that's in the book of Revelation then you're going to have the mark of the beast you can't buy or sell and then there's going to be laws of worship you know if you don't worship the image of the beast you're going to be put to death and I'm going to go uh, elaborate more into that but I think the next Bible study I'm going to do is um, drought no rain uh, wake up call from the Lord for repentance because the West and the Southwest of the United States and other parts of the world you know I'm an American so I can only uh, well I wouldn't say I'm an expert on America but I know more about America than I do anywhere else in the world but uh you know we're going to go into that i hear there's severe drought all over the west i mean severe bad so yeah we'll see what happens but um 
so those are probably four Bible studies I'm going to end up doing. The monetary, the government, and the war, and drought. But it's going to take time. So, and working full time, uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, when you, uh, when I was at work, uh, they've been watching television and I listen and sometimes watch a little bit. It's amazing all the occult stuff on television now. I mean, in your face. Um, I mean, I, I studied the occult from an occult perspective uh, for about, on and off for about a year when I first came to the Lord. I didn't practice casting spells or anything, but I mean, I bought books that were occultic of, in nature. And when I got done with them, I burned them just like they did in the book of Acts. But uh, it's not easy to fool me with the occult. I know too much about it. And the reason I studied all that stuff was, well, I knew churches were, when I, when I came back to the Lord 90, in 1989, 90, I knew the churches were uh, satanic. I mean, I knew that from my early days, because in junior high, I believed. And then the uh, TV preachers, I mean, you know, even as a, a middle school or junior high school kid, I knew the TV preachers were a bunch of bunch of filth you know Billy Graham and all them yeah it's amazing the uh, the only law they want to teach is the tithe you know yeah send God your tithe here's here's our here's our address so you can send God his tithe yeah I mean even as a even as a kid I knew they were a bunch of garbage so I started studying the occult stuff I mean you know Easter Easter has nothing to do with the Bible. Nothing. What does bunny rabbits and Easter eggs have to do with, you know, the Bible? Nothing. Zero. You know, King Herod probably, he celebrated Easter. And Herod was a bad, bad, bad everything. So, he was of the satanic seed line, which almost nobody believes in anymore. You know, Genesis 6, if you think people, believing men, the sons of God, married unbelieving women, the daughters of men, and then they had, you know, believing men married unbelieving women, and then they had giants for children, and then like Goliath, they had six fingers and six toes, uh, you're a fool. You're a fool if you believe that garbage. I mean, really. You ought to get on your hands and knees and 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 repent and study the Bible instead of listening to Billy Goat Grams that says anybody could be saved. No, they can't. God hates Esau. Esau cannot be saved. It will not be saved. I will not be looking for Esau in the kingdom if I'm found worthy. I pray that I am in Christ. But uh you know, it didn't take long for me to figure out TV preachers were a bunch of garbage. So that's why I studied the occult. Because, you know, when I looked into Easter, I mean, I knew it was fake uh, and satanic. You know, Easter is actually the name of the, the goddess of fertility. Yeah, fertility, you know, having children. Yeah, that's why they're bunny rabbits, the, the Playboy bunny, the Easter eggs, you know. And it just went, it grew from there. So that's why I studied the occult, because, you know, when I see it in a church, so-called, well, a, a building that's a the owned by a business that has the name church in it, you know, First Baptist Church or whatever, and yeah, if you look up 501c3, IRS regulations, that's their tax-exempt 
rules that they have to follow to keep the business tax exempt. And if you bother to look up the um, state business registries, you will find that these churches are registered as businesses. They are considered nonprofits. They are a creation of the state. I will guarantee you Jesus didn't go to the government of Rome and say, um, I, I'd like to incorporate uh, a business and have the name church in it. Can, can you please do that for me? Please, I want to be tax exempt. No, Jesus paid taxes to Rome. I mean, think about it. He's told Peter, lest we offend them. He said, take a hook, and pull up a fish and take the piece of money and pay the tax for you and me. Oh, well, that's the Bob uh, translation anyways. So, you know, oh, we want to be tax exempt. So we're going to play by the state's rules. And uh, you cannot mention anything against public policy. So that's why uh, the church doesn't preach against sin anymore. Let you know a little secret. God hates sin as much now as he did back in the Old Testament days. Uh, when he rained down fire and brimstone upon Gomorrah and, uh, you know, the other city where uh, a sexual act was named after, yeah, I got a talking code. Otherwise, Tubal, who knows what they'll do. But yeah, you can't talk about that stuff because it goes against public policy. Because the so-called church is a business, a creation of the state, and they have to follow the state rules, not the Bible. Which is why I'm not a part of any of that. You can't be, you know, the Lord said, come out of Babylon. And that's what it is. It's Babylon. But uh, being that I studied the occult stuff, I see it on TV all the time. Uh, for example, uh, Bruce Willis, uh, The Fifth Element, where they had that little uh, female, uh, you know who, um, the fifth element, you know, uh, it's you got fire, water, earth, wind, fire, water, earth, wind, fire, water, and then the fifth element is spirit. It's spell casting. I don't know how many of you have watched uh, Rick and Morty, but uh, Morty had rings where he was doing elementals, you know, earth, wind, fire. Um, there was a movie called The Last Airbender. I didn't watch it but I knew that's what it was about. Somebody committed and manipulate the elements. And, you know, it comes right out of the Bible. God created the earth. Earth. Um, God blew the breath of life into Adam, uh, which in the Greek, the word pneuma is wind or air, and it's also spirit. Um Water. What did God destroy the earth in a flood? Days of Noah. Fire. Well, that's the coming judgment upon the earth. And then spirit. But they're not talking about the Holy Spirit. They're talking about the other spirit. You know, everything in the Bible, they mock. They mock it. Uh, you know, if... if um, <laughs> Somebody made a comment today. You know who you are, trophy wife. Uh, and uh, she mentioned that uh, if TV does say the name of Jesus and the, you know, and then Christ, uh, there's a, an F word in between, you know, Jesus effing Christ. Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's a curse word. You don't hear people saying, oh, Buddha or oh, Muhammad, you know, but they'll go, oh, Jesus. You know, yeah, and I'm not trying to be mocking, but uh, yeah, it's 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 sad, people. I see so much 
witchcraft on television. It's just unbelievable. They, it's just, you know, I, the only time I do watch television is I'm doing research. It, it sickens me. It really does. I wish people would throw their, burn their TVs and uh, break out their Bibles and read it, but yeah, whatever. You know, when you find out that the, um, uh, what's that new, um, oh, Little Demon, the I think it's Fox and Disney teamed up to create a show about uh, Satan, who's voiced by Danny DeVito. Perhaps you remember him from Taxi. Uh, he was married to Rhea Perlman. Yeah, uh, you know, you know who. She was uh, the other waitress in Cheers. Uh, she, I think she what pretended to be Italian or whatever. They were married. They had a daughter. The daughter is the spawn of Satan. Uh, <laughs> Satan got a woman pregnant and had a daughter. And she's supposed to be the Antichrist or something along that. Well, I haven't watched it. I just read some reviews or and the trailers and yeah people don't realize just how close to the truth that stuff is you know genesis 6 and uh if you think eve was in the garden of eden talking to a snake hanging from a tree uh you got the wrong idea i mean seriously you want to know who the serpent is? Read Revelation 12. It tells you who the serpent is. Eve was talking to Satan himself, who the Bible records was the most, who fell in pride because of his beauty. Eve was not talking to a snake. She was talking to possibly one of the, if not the, most beautiful angels that God ever created. Uh, take it from there. And you start looking up the word fruit. Um, and God pronouncing her pain in childbirth. Why would God pronounce pain in childbirth in Genesis 3? Maybe the punishment fits the crime. You know? <laughs> think about it and uh, it's funny Cain is never listed in Adam's genealogy never why is that the Bible records not as Cain who is of that wicked one yeah you know <laughs> it makes you wonder people what really happened in the Garden of Eden Talking snakes hanging from an apple tree. Yeah, and Eve took a bite of that apple, and God said, oh, as punishment, I'm going to give you toothaches. Uh, no. No. And I've got an entire study, not mine, written by somebody else. If you're really, really, really interested in what happened in Genesis 3. So, all right, people. You know, but that's, that's for mature Christians only. And if you would want to know who the you-know-whos are and why every time you dig into who's behind evil, you find the same group, well, <laughs> that will explain why. So, uh, so. Ding dong, the witch is dead, the witch is dead, the witch is dead. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. Yeah, I know. Actually, I used to have a decent voice uh, when I was uh, first uh, in middle school and the beginning of high school. And then my voice changed. So, yeah, I know. I'll never be Frank Sinatra or uh, my dad's favorite singer, entertainer, so whatever all right all blessings praise glory and honor in jesus precious name amen